On August 26th of 2005, the great Kananisa Bekele from Ethiopia ran the single greatest 10,000 meter performance in the history of track and field. Running at an average pace of 4 minutes and 14 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 38 seconds per kilometer, this Ethiopian monster finished his 6.2 mile race in 26 minutes, 17.53 seconds. This broke his world record of 26 minutes and 20 seconds that he had set just one year prior. Running with perfect poise and supreme focus, he found himself in completely uncharted waters. This one race made him the only athlete to ever run under 26 minutes and 20 seconds, and somehow, he made it look easy. Watching Bekele run this pace with such ease is truly amazing, and it only further showcases his true dominance. As of 2020, this 10,000 meter world record has now stood for a full 15 years, making it one of the longest standing world records in track and field. But how exactly did this young Ethiopian accomplish such a legendary time that would stand for well over a decade? Today, we're taking a closer look at Kennedy Bekele's stunning 10,000 meter world record. But first, if you're interested in behind the scenes access, including unreleased racing footage, monthly giveaways, and a chance to be in our running podcast, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash totalrunningproductions. The link will be in the description down below. First, we need to talk about what Bekele had already accomplished up to this point, because even though he was only 23 years old, he was already a huge champion. Leading up to this world record attempt, the young Kenanisa was still in the early stages of his career, but his championship record made him look like one of the all-time greats. At the time, he had already won two Olympic medals both in 2004, three world championship medals in 2003 and 2005, and an astonishing eight world cross-country championships, which he achieved from 2002 to 2005. And he accomplished all of this before his 23rd birthday. In addition to championship greatness, he was already quite familiar with world record running. In 2004, over the course of just nine days, he broke both the 5,000 and the 10,000 meter record, running a 12.37 for the 5 and a 26.20 for the 10, respectively. Earlier in that same year, he broke the indoor 5,000 meter record as well, running a time of 12 minutes and 49.60 seconds. 2004 was obviously a tremendous year for Bekele. In fact, according to the World Athletics website, he only lost one race, and that was the Olympic final in the 5,000. Although he placed second in this race, Bekele was largely considered by many to be the future of running. From the track to the cross-country course, he was as close to unbeatable as you could be, and moving into 2005, he had his sights set on becoming the greatest distance runner the world had ever seen. But sadly, on January 4th, 2005, he endured quite possibly the single worst moment of his life. On a seemingly normal day in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Bekele's fiance, who was also a great distance runner, collapsed and died during one of her training sessions. This was obviously a huge blow for Bekele, who had talked openly for the past year about how both of them could potentially be world-class competitors on the women's and men's side. The simple truth is that Bekele's running took a severe blow earlier in this year. Although he was nearly unbeatable in 2004, he had already lost twice in 2005, once in January and again in February. Although his times were still quite fast, it was a large uncertainty as to whether or not Bekele would be able to return to his previous fitness. Clearly, he was very much affected, but incredibly, after enduring one of the worst imaginable tragedies, he soon regained his elite form, except this time, he was not going to lose. At the start of the 2005 World Cross Country Championships, he faced two of his most difficult battles ever. In the short race, he faced off against a very strong field, which included many Kenyans and many of his fellow Ethiopians. After losing twice earlier in the year, the world was eager to see if Bekele still had what it took to win the big races. And from the very start of the race, he took absolute control and never gave it up. For the first eight minutes, a few athletes were at least within striking distance, but for his final two kilometers, Bekele made a long push to the finish, and there was simply nobody that could catch him. Watching him run over these final stages was amazing. After an unbelievably difficult start to his year, he had somehow managed to find his way back to the very top. 
Running with the closing speed of a sprinter, he finished his final kilometer in around 2 minutes and 39 seconds, once again showcasing his unrivaled talent in distance running. And while this race was certainly an important moment for Bekele, he still had to face the great Elid Kipchoge the very next day. In the long course race, where he once again was the favorite, he had tremendous competitors that were all gunning for the win. In addition to the always consistent Kipchoge, Zersene Tedese from Eritrea was also expected to be a strong challenger. Through the first nine kilometers, Bekele was very much being tested by Kipchoge, who could simply not be broken. Stride for stride, these two men battled it out up in the lead, leaving the rest of the field in the dust. But, at the start of the final lap, Bekele made his move, and in that exact moment where he accelerated, the race was all but over. In his bid for the finish line, he was completely uncatchable, and as he always does, he somehow made it look easy. Finishing in 35 minutes and 6 seconds, he won the race by 14 seconds, and down the final home stretch, he soaked up every single second of his amazing victory. These championships were a big moment for Bekele, and for the remainder of his 2005 racing season, he was completely unbeatable. Over the summer, he ran some of his greatest races ever. In May, he ran a 26.28 for the 10,000, which to this day is still the sixth fastest time ever run. In July, he had found some incredible speed, as he ran a 12 minute and 40 second 5,000 meters, which is still the fourth fastest time ever run. Moving into August, Bekele had his eyes set on the World Championships, where he was looking to defend his 10,000 meter title from 2003. And amazingly, he did just that winning with an epic sprint finish where he dropped all of his competitors. According to the timekeepers, he ran his final 200 meters in around 25 seconds, which is simply amazing. Obviously, his season had reached a high note. He had been undefeated since February, he was running amazing times, and he was once again the world champion. But how exactly did he do this? What was going on behind the scenes that made Bekele so successful? The answer is simple. His training was simply unmatched. Detailed here was a typical training week for Kenanisa Bekele in the summer of 2005. Indeed, his long runs were upwards of two hours, and his weekly distance was around 150 kilometers. But the aspect that was really starting to click for Bekele was his speed work. For his track sessions, he ran his 400 meter intervals in around 52 seconds. And for his 200s, he was consistently running around 24. According to the national team training logs, his speed was unmatched, but we already knew this, especially given his final 200 meters in the World Championships. These intense and quite explosive times were very impressive, but he was also achieving great times during his longer interval sessions. For his 800 meter reps, he would run average splits of around 1 minute and 57 seconds, running anywhere from 8 to 10 of these intervals. And the way that he did this was simply fascinating. For his first lap, he would run around 64 seconds. And for his second lap, he would close in 53. I mean, just imagine this type of workout, opening in 64 and closing in 53. And then he had to do this eight to 10 times. I can't even imagine doing something like that. With such elite level workouts, Bekele's body was stronger than ever, and he knew it. He had reached a level of fitness that was quite rare, and he wanted to take advantage of it. So unlike most athletes who ended their seasons after the World Championships, Bekele put one more race on his schedule, which was one final 10,000 meter world record attempt on August 26th of 2005. In order to break his own world record, he would need to average 5k splits of 13 minutes and 10 seconds. This pace is about the equivalent to running each lap in 64 seconds, for 25 straight laps. Needless to say, this was quite a tall order, but if you know anything about the great Kenanisa, you know that anything is possible when this man hits the track. With the help of excellent pacing, which included his younger brother, Tariku, he was splitting fantastic intervals. Through each lap, he was making 63 to 64 second pace look like a cakewalk. And through the 5,000 meter mark, he split an ideal time of 13 minutes and nine seconds. This truly was amazing pacing. To beat his time from the previous year, he needed two 5km splits under 13 minutes and 10 seconds. And for his first, he was exactly one second faster. Quite the ideal pacing for your world record attempt. 
From this point forward, his brother Tariku dropped out, leaving Bekele up front to dictate the pace. And immediately after passing the 5 kilometer mark, Bekele made a gutsy move and pushed forward into the lead. Luckily, he had Sammy Wanjiru from Kenya right behind him, which I'm sure gave Bekele some added motivation. However, with 4 kilometers left, Bekele was now up front on his own. This meant that for the next 10 laps, he would need to average around 64 seconds per lap to break his world record. And for the next two and a half miles, the world saw some of the best running in history. With a beautiful and powerful tempo, Bekele pushed forward into true greatness. And as he continued to crank out lap after lap, he knew that he was closing in on the world record. Through the eight kilometer mark, he split a time of 21 minutes and four seconds, which has got to be one of the fastest times ever run for the 8K. Now with just five laps remaining, the math was simple. He needed to run his final 2K in five minutes and 16 seconds, which is the equivalent to 63.2 seconds per lap. At these speeds, it's hard not to be amazed at just how fast Bekele was running, and as the final laps unfolded, the world would witness a special moment. With one lap to go, Bekele split a time of 25 minutes and 20 seconds. This split meant that he would need to run his final lap in under 60 seconds to break his own world record. And just like he had done in countless races before, and just like he had practiced in training for months on end, he ran his final lap in true style. Down the back stretch, he was absolutely flying, achieving a pace that was obviously much faster than 60 seconds. Coming down the home stretch, Bekele was doing something that nobody had ever done before. In fact, the runners in front of Bekele were world-class athletes who were not used to being lapped. So with such a fast runner behind them, they accelerated forward so they wouldn't be lapped. Bekele's finishing time would be 26 minutes and 17.53 seconds, which bettered his own world record from the previous year. Behind Bekele, five other athletes ran under 27 minutes, which made this one of the greatest 10,000 meter races in history. Most notably, a young 18-year-old Sami Wanjiru ran 26 minutes and 41 seconds, which still stands today as the world junior record. This world record was truly a special moment for distance running. In the history of track and field, only 64 athletes have ever broken 27 minutes, and even more notably, only four have ever gone under 2630, but out of all the runners to ever run this distance, only one has ever broken 2620, and that incredible athlete is Kennedy Sibakele. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.